haven't seen Cole or Star all day. You think they're going to come back here, John? Depends on whether they saw us, or Todd, or one of the flyers we put up. Look at this place. These sheets, there's... Threadbare, there's not even any blankets. It's cold last night, it's... I hate to think of my little girl here all alone, you know? Yeah, well... I don't think she was all alone. Looks like someone tried to make it nice for her. She needs me. She's strong. Like you. She can handle a, a few nights in a room like this. Yeah. She handled it so much she had to have this frog. John, she had such a great life back in Landview. I just don't understand why she would come to a horrible place like this. You know that um, the bicycle shop in Boardwalk? Yeah, where the bikes were made to be spikes. I went back and talked to the guy later, okay? He's got some older bikes he can sell us. Right, we can bike it to the next town. But it's 15 miles away. Okay, I can do it. Sure. Yeah. All right, look, listen. We'll catch the bus before you, your mom and John ever figure out that we're not here, okay? Uh, what about our stuff? It's all at the house. It's, 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 a, nice, it's a nice place to live for us. Okay, but we really have to go, okay? We got to plan out. We really have to go, all right? Okay, good. I knew you would take us something, but we have to cover up first. I have a whole everything with us. Text, no message? Nada. Bro, this is unacceptable. What the hell's wrong with this guy? It's his wedding day. But we don't know for sure why he isn't here well, yet. Well, I'll tell you what. If he's been in an accident, it better be a serious one because cuts and bruises aren't going to do it for me. Yeah, you better show up in crutches. All right, look, I know that Balsam doesn't always play everything by the book, but there's no way he would ever hurt Adriana. So, uh, Rex is walking away from this marriage. Nobody said that, Dorian. Then where is he, Bo? Antonio, Christian? We don't know. Fine. You know, if Rex were planning to marry Adriana today, he would have been here an hour ago. The, the ceremony was supposed to have started right now. I know that. I think it's best, man. You should prepare your announcement. What announcement are you talking about? This wedding must be called off. Well, I just called the station, and the good news is Rex hasn't been in an accident or anything like that. If I were the bride and the groom wasn't here and wasn't dead, I would kill him myself. I'm sure that Rex has a very good reason for being with me. Well, if he talks his way out of this one, he should copyright his excuse. Is she here? I didn't see Gigi or Shane. I could have missed them. I didn't get a good look at everyone. Well, what about Brody? You don't even have a groom yet, and you're worried about him? I need Brody here if Gigi shows up. Unless she and Rex have already run off together. Stop talking that way. Rex didn't run off with anyone. Is Brody here or not? Hey, Sailor. I was afraid you weren't coming. I told you I'd be here. Even though I hate that you're leaving. You do? Of course I do. I'll be worried about you every day that you're gone. You don't have to worry. We get pretty good training. I know how to handle myself. <laughs> I want to get back. I'm going to take care of you and your baby.
Well, I'm sorry about that. I can't even imagine where he got the idea that you weren't going to marry Adriana. It's not like you can just walk away from her. I walked away from you. Like you said before, we were we were just kids then. We're not kids now, are we? Once we make decisions, we um, can't really walk away from them. It's a good thing that the church is only a couple of blocks away, huh? You could probably make it there in two minutes.